Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. If you're a project manager, you would need accurate way of estimating the total capacity of your team and resources so that you can make some critical decisions around, do I have enough capacity or availability in my team to take on the projects that are upcoming? Do I have to hire new resources in order to meet the demand? These critical decisions can be taken with a lot more confidence and accuracy by using a simple Excel template. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use this free Excel template to calculate capacity of your team in your project accurately and take effective decisions. Now let's get started. So we start with our Excel template in the setting sheet where you can define the start date of the project plan. So for example, I went to June 1st, 2024, which means my project planning period will be for two years by default. Maximum limit is two years. I can define a list of resources or team members in my project, and then I can assign them to a specific role. And we can have up to 25 different roles. In this example, I have entered 26 uh, employees and I've assigned them to one of the available roles. I can also enter the list of holidays, company holidays in my organization, which the template will use to automatically assume people will not be working on those days so that it calculates the capacity accurately. Now, in the capacity tab of the sheet, you can go and enter the list of all the employees and you can customize the start date and end date of each employee. You can also customize how many hours each employee will be working as available capacity for every single workday or weekday. Now, for example, I've entered Davis, who only works four hours on Wednesday, but works eight hours Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday. You can customize every single weekday for each employee. As soon as you enter this, the template will calculate the capacity in number of hours, total capacity, during this window of time that the employee is employed. This gives you an instant view into the total capacity that each employee or resource brings to the overall team or the project. Now, an important way or important factor to consider when you are calculating capacity is vacation, which is basically employees taking time off or employees doing extra time or overtime. You can handle that very easily in this template. You can enter just a list of resources who are taking vacation or overtime. So let's take an example. Uh, Irwin, from the 2nd of Jan to 10th of Jan, is going to take five hours off every day. Then you can enter that this way, minus five. So minus means the capacity is going to reduce which means, I mean, it's a vacation or a personal time off, so the capacity is going to reduce for the project or the team. However, if you do overtime, you enter them as a positive. So, for example, Riley from 23rd to 27th Feb is going to work extra one hour every day during that window. This is how you can enter the data in this template using a very effective and easy method. For example, you don't have to enter every single day what's the capacity. You can define the dates and then enter for each workday. And similarly, the vacation can be entered. If there is an extended period of time that employee is not going to be available, you can still enter that as a single row, saving time in data entry. Now, that is all about the data entry in this template. Let's take a look at the output. So in the resource view, we'll start um, there's a lot of information here, but I'll start from column E, which gives you all the resources in your project organized by roles. So, for example, there are three managers, three developers and more support team and so on. So you have everybody listed, their start date of employment, end date of employment, and then it calculates the total capacity of each of those resources in number of hours. Here I can see, for example, the month of January 2025, 
what is the capacity for each employee for example klein is available 168 hours during the month of january only available for 144 hours during february and so on and then the manager line is totaling all the different managers and saying this is the total for this role this can be useful for you when you want to understand the total capacity of all the developers um, in addition to knowing each developer but if you want to know the total that's what these orange uh, rows are providing you this is great let's take a look at um, this is monthly can i look at it any different ways absolutely so you can go to the slicer on the top and then say i want to do daily this instantly gives me a daily view which for example i'm going to look at klein again on 1st of january which is a wednesday works for eight hours eight hours eight hours on wednesday to friday saturday sunday because it's considered um uh, non-working day for clients so how do i know that if i go back to the capacity i can see client works does not work on sunday and saturday works eight hours on monday four hours on tuesday and eight hours on the other three days that is what is used by the template to calculate accurately the capacity it will automatically zero out here for saturday sunday because client doesn't work saturday sunday and then um on Tuesdays only put four days as capacity because that's what we have given as input. So everything is good so far. Now this is the daily view and I can also do weekly very easily. And now I get weekly. So the template can be useful for you uh, in multiple contexts. If you want to plan what is my capacity next month, you can look at it monthly. If you want to do on a weekly level, because you may have more up-to-date information on a weekly basis, so you update your input and look at what's coming up next week. So the template is very flexible um, based on how you want to use it for your project planning. Another thing I want to highlight here is, let me go back to the daily view, and um, I want to change where my view starts. So why does it have to start on January 1st? Can I do it in any other month? Yes, of course. You can click, for example, in the start date slicer. I'm going to click on June 24, and now my first day is June. This is how you can customize this view based on which month you're planning for. Now let's go and take a look at uh, one of the things I wanted to look at was the holidays. We entered 19th June as a company holiday. So let's take a look at what shows up on 19th June in our output everybody's capacity is zero down. So it's accurately taking in your holidays and vacation over time, all that input will be taken up in the calculations to give you accurate capacity at multiple time periods and frames. So you can filter this view also. You can click on QA and this will filter this table to only QA employees or resources. You can change this to developer, to I can look at developer. I can also do multiple by clicking developer and manager by pressing the control key and then clicking on manager. Now I can see only those resources in my view. So it's very, very flexible. If I want to only focus on one employee, I can do that by clicking on Adams, for example, um, because Adams is not a developer, so it's not showing up. So let me unfilter or clear the filter on the role. Now I can see that Adams is a team lead and his capacity, we can view it and analyze it and take decisions. Now, this is what the template gives you. A very quick and effective way to take decisions around project planning. Now, I do want to talk to you about our premium resource capacity planner, right template, and show you what features you can get in addition. Now, this is a copy of the resource capacity planner, light premium version of the template, which has a lot of additional features to make your project planning even simpler. For example, you can have multiple projects and you can assign the projects to different categories. And then you can also enter the demand of the projects. So in the demand tab, I can say these are all the tasks for these projects and you can assign it to a specific role and a person and then say how much work needs to be done. So in the free version, we focused on just the capacity side. In the premium version of the template, we also take into account the demand or the work that needs to be done. 
and then you can see instantly the template will highlight if the capacity is not enough to meet the demand with this red border around the row. And you can also view an enhanced dashboard, which gives you a summary of how many projects are there total, how many have been, you know, uh, what's the total demand of these projects in number of hours, and how much of that demand has been allocated to specific resources who can perform uh, those tasks. And then as you scroll to the right, you will see role and resource-based calculation. So for example, tester role, there is deficit capacity. What does that mean? So the capacity of all the employees with the tester role is 4184, um, but you have assigned them 4952 hours of work, which means that they will not be able to fulfill that. So this clearly highlights to you where there is a deficit in capacity, what role do you need to improve capacity on to meet the demand? Similarly, these roles have surplus capacity, so you have more capacity than the work that is assigned. Uh, and finally, you can also look at by each resource. These resources have been assigned a lot of work more than what they have capacity. This table on the bottom right tells you the list of resources where we have surplus capacity, which means the capacity is a lot higher than the assigned work. So probably you can assign more work to these uh, resources or you can find projects and assign um, tasks to, be, to these resources. So this is just one part of the output. So you have this nice dashboard which summarizes your project planning status. And also you can have a calendar view, just like we saw in the, in the free template, but this is a lot more functional, uh, more um, features. For example, you can look at capacity minus demand, utilization percentage. Uh, you can look at it by project, you get a project view. You can look at the resource view, which you're familiar in the free template. But there's a lot more than what you saw in the free template. So. Take your project planning to the next level by taking informed, intelligent decisions based on the data and save time because all the calculations are already done. All you have to do is to input the data and use it for your project planning to improve it. If you have any questions about this template, please put them in the comments section below or reach out to us at support at imzara.com. We'll be happy to address all your questions. All the links to the free template and the premium template will be in the video description also. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.